Welcome to this video guys. In this video we will learn how to make the exploded view and the animation for this robotic arm. I have make all the videos for assembly and 3D CAD modeling and I will provide the link for whole playlist in the description. Let's begin with this video. Here is our modeled and assembled robotic arm. Here you can see all the parts can move and they are assembled properly. Go to assembly and here we have the option for the exploded view just select this option from here and let me expand it so that you can view it properly in this window we need to select one part this part and you can select all the other part so i want to keep this two part away from the robotic arm like this in the z-axis and here you can specify the distance as well guys specify the distance and click on done do not select this check option but if you have selected no problem you do not need to do anything all over again from the start go to configuration and here we have the exploded view just click on added feature that's it and we are back right guys so i do not want you to suffer just go to the added feature and that's it select this one and move it away although you can specify the distance from here but i am okay with it just click on done and now select this part and move this direction you ha you need to select the axis and drag it by using your mouse and now it's time for this link just select and drag it in this direction because the shaft should be moving away from the previous length like this and now select this one and move in y direction although you can specify the distance to accurately control it and now select this one and if mistakenly you have selected something that you do not want to select just click on this undo from here right guys and if some wrong part is selected just select and clear it from here because i do not want you to suffer and do all all of things all over again and again and again click and done select this one and move it down so everything is done and now we are left with explode and collapse and making the animation every part is now set at proper distance okay and now we need to go to the configuration let me just show you all over again this is the configuration tab we need to go into it we can expand it from here expand this as well and this right here is the uh, exploded view that we have created click on collapse click again and select the explode right click again collapse and you can play with it and now this is the option to animate it so I, if I select this it automatically explodes like this and here we have the option for it we can play it from here as well and this right here is the steps if we if we want to move in steps click and control it like this cross it from here okay collapse it and now let me show you one more thing you need to go to this motion study you can go to motion study one motion study two and just select this option animation wizard here we have the option for the explode because first we need to explode then collapse and uh, this is the duration how much duration you want to explode in five seconds it, it would be great so this is the starting time one second okay and these are these are the parts which will take five seconds we have defined five seconds guys that's why and this area would be used for the collapse so click here again animation wizard select collapse this time next and let me show you this thing okay here we have six second i want the collapse to start from seven from this point seven second or eight second so specify here seven and duration for the collapse is five second finish and here we have guys this right here is all area for the collapse just to make you understand 
and now we need to click on calculate so I have selected the calculate and now it is doing automatically it, it will take time and it will collapse automatically again now let me show you how you can save the animation so this is the option for the save animation and here you can define the path where you want to save it and this is the file name here select avi although you can select other formats but i i like the avi format here select 16 ratio 1 because this is standard and these are the frames per second this should be 30 35 50 60 but your length would be much more higher of saving it when you increase the frame per second like if you select 60 frame per second it would take more time than 30 but the quality of the animation would be increased with the frame per second i'm increasing the video uh, increasing the speed of the video but this would take much more time right guys so here is the animation that i have saved i'm showing it so that's all for this video guys if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel